हरि ओम टू ऑल द आत्म ज्योति इज डिवाइन लाइट ऑफ द सेल्फ सो हियर वी आर विथ अनदर सेशन ऑफ मदालसा लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द प्रेयर एनी वन इज वेलकम टू चैन द प्रेयर जय श्री जी यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवे नम अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त ये नाचराचर तत्पम दर्शि ये नस्म श्री गुरवे नम okay thank you so the what we were planning to do today is um, revisit the other shlokas the same shlokas uh why a question and answers shall we do that okay where is the narsi murti ji he had a lot of questions but i'll wait for him to log in before to before i can ask his questions okay so starting from talk number 31 which has become a kind of you know it's kind of complicated is what everyone is has felt so here is a question what are the three kinds of bandhanas that we have three kinds of bandhanas jeeva has What are they? Anyone? Rajni? Uh, this could be karmic, ignorance. Mm -hmm. Ignorance is the bandana. What is the ignorance? That I am the body, the body mind complex. Yes. So, in terms of Chida Bhasa, how does it uh, and Jiva and Anta Karna in or in those terms, how does this? ignorance manifest what is the ignorance about these three chida bhasa uh, and uh, you know antahkarna yeah, uh, it is the ego which takes the doership like mm. it takes the doership of whatever is being done is done by me so when it takes the doership it it is a cause of suffering no you tell me in terms, you tell me in terms of that chida bhasa these are the terms which are being used by prabhu ji in these talks chida bhasa जीव साक्षी अंत करना इन दीज टर्म्स यू कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द इग्नोरेंस दट वी हैव कैन आई कैन आई ये प्लीज कैरी ऑन चिदा बासा ऑन द मनसु वन आर अपार्ट मीन रिफ्लेक्शन यू बी मेक ऑल द वेरी वेरी क्लियर कॉन्शियसनेस रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द कॉन्शियसनेस one number one is jiva thinking and deha ha huh? okay number two is deha thinking i am the kartatva i am the kart i am the doer i am the hmm. huh? then chida hmm. basa on sakshi hmm okay and jiva on sakshi three hmm. very good okay in very in brief in brief hmm 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 so uh, yeah very good very well said anyone else wants to expand on that indra anupama shaila rajini so sahaja sambandha ah karma yeah. sambandha and prantija sambandha mm, explain sahaja, sahaja sambandha is the sambandha between the ahankara and chitabasa hmm sahaja and the deha sam de, jeeva and deha sambandha is karma ja sambandha there is correct and uh, there is no connection between uh, jiva and sakshi but it thinks there is a connection between that is the prantija sambandha mm. hmm okay sahaja sambandha is between chida bhasa and the ahankara ahankara or is, is it the antakarna entire package manas buddhi chitta ahankara everything yeah, yeah antakarna antakarna correcta anupama uh, rajini anyone wants to add what is the sahaja sambandha did you get that rajini anupama every everybody i think has got it right narsimurti good morning hari om 
so okay so this is a sahaja sambandha what indra explained about the chidabhasa and the antakarana correct ah hmm. it happens all the time it is sahaja it happens all the time no no all the time ginta uh, born it, with it it you are born with it you know as if you, you are born with two eyes two ears and one nose and all that it's sahaja <laughs> you are it is there you know when the before the i press i am comes also it is there already there that sambandha is already there sahaja automatic hmm second one you said indra karmaja karmaja what is the karma sambandha one more once more somebody else can explain karmaja relationship between sambandha between jiva and deha yes it is karmaja what which karma is that among all the other karmas um, prarabdha karma prarabdha karma so what are the you know um, elements of the prarabdha uh, prarabdha karma elements one is body next not just body not in manasu just... buddhi deha manasu buddhi ha okay all the that package of all the vasanas that is prarabdha yes correct apart from the body the environment in which you are born the timeline in which you are born and uh, you know and the relationships you have the parents the siblings all that is prarabdha okay and the other day prabhu ji was mentioning there are three kinds of uh, prarabdhas one is very strong prarabdha second one is medium prarabdha third hmm. is diluted prarabdha weak prarabdha okay very strong prarabdha we are talking of here karmaja sambandha very strong prarabdha you can't get rid of it medium uh, prarabdha is uh, some uh, health issues or whatever it is Mm, uh, you can get rid of there. That's also comes with prarabdha only, but you can get rid of it uh, with some medication or something, or uh, uh, maybe some home or whatever. And then uh, weak prarabdha is it will go easily. Strong prarabdha, health issues and all, you have to bear with it. So okay, that was aside. but uh, here we are talking of a strong karma ja sambandha between the body and the uh, jiva okay then last was bhranti ja bhranti ja anyone else wants to explain narsi murti what is bhranti ja bhranti ja sambandha it is an evolutionary relationship between between the reflected consciousness and the mind to be specific okay. ahankara okay so what happens because of this illusory relationship bhranti what happens bhanda en agutte i mean how what are the Bandha. mechanics of it mechanics of it see one is jada body is jada one is full chaitanya so when jada is jada and chaitanya are together which is sahaja sambandha but added to bhranti when the bhranti happens what all happens jada starts thinking i am chaitana and chaitana mele jadatva is imposed on chaitana and chaitanya is imposed on jadatva is okay. it there's a term for this what happens when jada and chaitanya are so inter in enmeshed you know it is called anyonya samanda samanda adhyasa or anyona aropa you're superimposing the qualities of chaitanya on the jada and the qualities of jadatva on chaitanya for example how are we seeing, how are we how are we superimposing what are the qualities of chaitanya number 1 let us specifically point it out what are the qualities of chaitanya sat chit ananda ananda in terms of uh, you know practical things what is it um, I, i always exist existence is sat alwa 
always, eternally I exist. Don't we have that feeling of immortality that I won't die? Even we see, see thousands of death every, every day and among our own circles. Do I feel I'm mortal or immortal? Immortal. I immortal. Yeah, I feel always I'm immortal. That is the quality of Chaitanya. Fine. Everyone dies. Huh? Yes. Every, everyone dies but me. Yes, exactly. And Not my me. and my Not people. Hmm. Huh. So this quality of permanence I superimpose on the on the body and my possessions and my relationships. That is Bharanti. Body is impermanent, relationships are impermanent, my possessions are impermanent, even my manas, everything is impermanent that we know. Alva, we know by we practically every day we come across this impermanence, yet I do not associate that impermanence with my own body, etc., etc., etc. That is adhyasa. I am imposing that impermanence of, of the Chaitanya on the body, etc., etc. That is one anyonya ropaita. And even when, see, for example, you are uh, telling your uh, neighbor, my son got a job. Okay. What does the neighbor tell you in return? Is it a permanent job? See, for everything we seek permanence. Where there is only impermanence in the entire universe. That is one anyonya, one, one aropa, which is agnana. Then how are we imposing the, uh, you know, Jadatva, the the terms, the, the qualities of Jadatva on Chaitanya, how do we how do we impose? Can you think of an example how we impose it on Chaitanya? I am angry. I am hungry. How can I, which is Chaitanya, become hungry or angry? No. But continuously we use the term I. And superimpose all the impermanent things on the I. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, Again, yes, that is me. another Aropa. This is the Anyoni Aropa that is happening. Understand people? It is yeah. simple actually, isn't it? Yes. Always superimposing my impermanence on the permanent I. And always superimposing the permanence of the I on the impermanent <laughs> body-mind complex. This is Anyonya Aropa. That is the ignorance that is happening with Bhranti Janya Samanda. Okay, is that clear now? All of us? Yes. yes. What is Tapa Shaila? Amele, what else are yeah. we talking about here? Huh? One, one more thing. Yeah. Doership. 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 Ah, ah, correct, correct. Ahankara. <coughs> Kartutva, Gnatrutva, Bhoktrutva. Adi, I am hungry, I am hungry, Allah. Same adu. Kartrutva, Gnatrutva, Bhoktrutva. We are superimposing on Chaitanya. Yes, yes. Isn't it? That's what we are doing. Yeah. I know, I experience, I do. All our qualities of Chaitanya. Actually, Chaitanya does nothing. The instru via the instrument, it operates. See, even that is not the permanent truth that uh, Chaitanya does everything. It does nothing. It is just there. See, it's all so subtle. There is nothing that uh, you cannot say like, you know, it is all very between Chaitanya and the doership, knowership, there is such so much subtlety there, you know, between <laughs> in that onion, uh, uh, this thing that someone it is so in enmeshed that is there are so many layers of where it all this is happening. But at this level, it is fine to say it is only the Chaitanya which is doing everything, knowing everything. But we are supering imposing it on the impermanent body mind complex. Mm. What else is the questions that we had? <clears throat> um, what happens after this uh, mukti uh, when jnana comes all this is agnana what all happens 
when jnana comes what are the bandhanas that are gone so i'll spell it out uh, what happens to the uh, this thing that i am deha i am the body that's the first one to go isn't it the first sahaja sambandha it's there but in the understanding the sahaja sambandha of the jiva and the this thing is gone for all appearance it is there but that association with the with the body mind complex drops with jivan mukti what else happens with jivan mukti nenagatte still exist yes the uh, gnani has to go through all his pradabha karmas he has to complete hmm. he has to teach so he carries on in the world but he is not attached to the world till the deha mukti happens very good correct that's what happens so what happens to anyonya adhyasa aropa even the bhranti sambandha will also drop mainly Me that mainly the bhranti ja sambandha will drop karma ja sambandha you can't do anything about it which is the prarabdha like she explained uh, sahaja sambandha you can do nothing about it it is there like the example given is how that sahaja sambandha continues it is there yet it is not there how like the snake around shiva's neck we discussed it last in the previous class it is or another example given in vedanta is it's like a burnt rope burnt rope it looks like a rope but it is ashes it has got no strength it doesn't bind so that sambandha is there this brantija sambandha is completely erased aita amale so how does this jivan mukta behave after this jnana comes because guruji has given uh, very specific things here there are two kinds of minds you know he talks about those two kinds of minds yenappa do conceptual mind and functional mind ha okay. conceptual mind and functional mind so let us talk more about this conceptual mind and functional mind anyone wants to explain anupama is very quiet today uh, this is the topic where i had i was uh, i didn't have good understanding okay this functional mind and uh, conceptual mind okay yaar i i what my uh, understanding is that Uh, mm -hmm. the concept that we uh, gain either from book or from surrounding uh, for a nyani that will not be there but he is functional uh, means uh, till uh, our prarabdha karma is there or the nyani will also have prarabdha karma so he is functioning but all the concepts that are those are dissolved okay mm -hmm. correct you have you have your understanding is perfectly all right little more fleshing out is required yes rajini what is this concept so it is the same uh, the function he carries on exactly like an ordinary person but he uses this as an instrument yes. the body mind complex and it functions correct so this is only for the jagat hitaya <coughs> the body hmm. so he is the concept of me mine and everything is gone hmm it is only the it is functioning for the whole world and he takes the whole world as me in the sense it is my family that he treats it and he works in that particular manner right. we are restrictive to me and my family more so mm -hmm. he for him what is, is the uh, explain with examples that we know conceptual mind most common example is arjuna in the gita in the first chapter of the gita completely he was in uh, you know enveloped by this conceptual mind wasn't it yeah my people my guru my father ye wo my brothers my kingdom all the all of us function every day with this conceptual mind only so it's the subconscious mind no conceptual mind is a subconscious mind no conscious has become very in, in conscious life we express that no 
it is not just subconscious yeah it is deeply in the subconscious which is expressed in the conscious all the time very confused very confused can't take decisions the conceptual mind ah. cannot decide hmm. ah, always in conflict always in conflict dwandva dwandva because that dwandva the duality comes because there is a separation between i me myself and it is his 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 problem you know why should i bother about that problem it is somebody else's problem that kind of uh, separation is there i am too attached to what i feel is mine like rajni said i me myself is too much in the forefront in this conceptual mind and all our actions are directed uh, uh, because of this i will not do anything which i don't feel is i me myself just think about it can yes. we think about anything that i do in a day which i don't feel that it's mine what do you say nandu antukonde thane ella kelsa madodu shaila what do you think nan mane nan ganda nan makkalu everything is nanu nandu nanu nandu we get attached and uh, we will do uh, when we when the ignorance is gone huh. like uh, we keep uh, telling that i am doing from the sakshi baba hmm. but uh, we should do our uh, responsibilities no? as a mother uh, if you are a teacher that we should do yeah, your, that is there that so that's uh, swadharma is always there no see just remember what we what uh, bhagwan tells in the gita you have to do your drop all your concepts but and do your duty that is a functional mind krishna also had a lot of relatives in that war but did he have that conceptual mind or a functional mind there he took the decisions as per dharma as per the requirement of the hour for jagathita that is how a functional mind works never worrying about what will happen to me my family all that so that is the difference between the functional mind and conceptual mind or the yeah there is one more thing you know when it is me and mine the decisions are very they are not even right because uh, that attachment the sense of attachment brings in lot of pain and yes. the decisions are not right but yeah. if you take that particular person as an individual as a godly thing the decisions would be right and they would be in place and in time in exactly. fact when z interfere as a mother or it is me or mine i complicate the matter i Absolutely. come in in his life and i it is an obstacle when that mother sits behind and see this is not my son like yeah difficult, but definitely he is a godly person and he is taking the right decision he is divine and the decisions are right beautiful yeah That's but perfect. me and mine will really complicate the matters and the me decisions and mine always complicate matters correct so for all of us to introspect on a daily basis am i letting my conceptual mind interfere in my actions we should do that at every moment whenever we remember at least <laughs> every moment remembrance means gnani is only isn't it hmm okay what else <coughs> anupama it's clear no now conceptual and uh, functional mind uh, but i have a doubt with conceptual mind ji uh, hmm. uh, hmm. at certain points uh, we uh, i correct my child right this is wrong you should do this this is this way uh, yeah. you have to whether uh, that was related to i me and mine is it uh, that way correct or not it is correct only see it depends are you dealing with a child who is still under your care and who needs your advice and your nurture this various things are there but when your when, when your son for example has grown 40 45 he has a family of his own he has got enough maturity he is a ceo of some company he is taking decisions you might want to advise him only when he seeks advice hmm. isn't it that's what krishna waited no till arjuna asked him i surrender to you please advise only when he asked he was given advice by krishna everyone needs advice throughout life there is no doubt about it but am i in a position to give the right advice i should also be mature enough no and i should be in a position to give through the functional mind and not the conceptual mind no anupama as a mother 
Uh, yes. At every point of time, all the factors count. At every point of time, all these factors will be very clear in a functional mind. Isn't it? It will be very clear in a functional mind. But if I am looking at the filter through the filter of mother, hmm. then there might be some complications. At any point of time, yes, a child will need the advice of the mother at any point of time. But we will have we will have that discretion when to give when not to give all that will come with us also with age no anupama we will also realize yeah. and the two other terms which are similar to this functional mind and conceptual mind with they mean the same same is working mind and thinking mind this conceptual mind is a thinking mind yeah. our gayatri ji is reminding me about that Thinking mind, always thinking slash worrying. Mm -hmm. Slash worrying. Always worried about that is because of duality, dvandva. If I do this, how what will happen? If I don't do this, what will happen? The clear cut decision making ability is not there in a worrying and thinking mind. Because it comes through bondages of I, me, myself. The clear cut clarity is not there. Huh? Yes, Anupama. And in a working mind, it's always in a working like a computer. No problems. If it's got a good, uh, you know, <laughs> good hardware, good software, everything is there, the computer works. Here, so, all the thoughts get converted to action in the functional mind? Correct. On the other way of putting it, it uh, putting it is, only actionable thoughts will occur to the fun thing, fun, functional mind, working mind. Only actionable thoughts. I, I will not think in an idle way. What if suddenly tomorrow the earth collapses? I will not think about it. It is stupid. When the earth collapses, when the mind tells me, it, the mind will tell me what to do. But I will not sit today and worry about what will happen, about cons uh, you know, imaginary fiascos that might happen in life. Or imagine what will if I get one crore in lottery tomorrow? No. The working mind will not function in that manner. Only actionable thoughts occur to the functioning mind, working mind. Jnani's mind. It works like that. Other, uh, uh, on the other hand, all our uh, thoughts are not functionable or not actionable. Yes or no, Mercy Murthy? How many actionable thoughts do we get in a day? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Alva. Yes, Indra. Yeah. Indra, you want to say yeah. something? Yes. Uh, one example. So, if uh, I can connect with this uh, functional and the conceptual mind, if a teacher teaching a student is a functional mind, a mother teaching a, a son the same subject is a conceptual mind, right? No. No, why? Because the mother will have uh, attachment. No, that she that is that is my son. No, but but she has taken the role of a teacher. Probably, you know, she is doing the role of a teacher. Then she is teaching something to the child. No, no, same service. Say, suppose math only, not uh, deep thing. You know, only math. A teacher teaching a student hmm. is not with the attachment. No, like uh, she. No, she might have no. It is, See, it's all very subtle. If you say this, I'm going to say this. If you say that, I'm going to say this. The teacher <laughs> might also have an attachment. Oh, the, my students, my, my class, uh, you know, uh, third standard D section has to talk. What kind of bondage also should, can be there with a the teacher? In I think in for for all of us in all of our interactions, there will be some conceptual mind working always in the background. Yeah. It will always be there in the background. We don't do anything with total detachment yet completely involved in it. No? Um, yeah. So, Indra... Okay. Gayatri ji is saying a mother has to correct her children. But as a trustee, not as a owner. Beautiful. Um, mm. Yeah. Because I am in charge of this jiva, this little soul at this point of time. It is my duty to take care of the child in the best way that I know. Hmm. 
to that extent all five star to all the parents isn't it we all try to do our best for our children there is no doubt about it but the ownership if when it comes it becomes a conceptual mind yeah. as long as doing it as a trustee i'll be on on a safe ground even though i might not be the greatest intellect on earth to guide my child in the right manner but still in my capacity i will guide the child yes satyavati narsimurthi satyavati ah purnima for uh, uh, indra indra ji is uh, that example when she said about mother and teacher in both the cases yeah so when they prepare for that teaching purpose the conceptual mind will be working so instead of what gayatri ji has said is very beautiful but uh, conceptual and functional anta tagolabaga in both cases they do some preparation navaga conceptually nadithirutte but when both are teaching i think it is only functional mind and if we if we keep apart that uh, relationship or my student my son adu bittu helodadre how the mind is working because all of us sometime or other or maybe many times we are in functional uh, mind only like uh, guruji gives a beautiful examples no musician no artist to dance so this that many cases even while cooking also functional. but pre, pre preparation when we do that will become a conceptual mind but why why that has become conceptual conceptual and like uh, oh what we are going to cook tomorrow and that no no teaching no. only we need some no, preparation no oh. planning is very much part of working mind see what i will cook tomorrow this this is a to z what if i don't cook it properly that is the conceptual mind and does my child like this would he taste good ha ah, will is my it to his taste is it to his liking will i leave up to everyone's expectations all that if you start thinking beforehand when you are cooking yeah you better think oh oh this this much salt i should put otherwise it become salty all that you should but uh, during the yeah you don't worry about what might go wrong i don't know how to put it across you have to think of what can go wrong also you have to prepare for everything yeah. unnecessarily you should not yeah expecting excess. it to be a good book good product chanag martini kartatvanu banbidutte ಅಲ್ಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ತಾನೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇರ್ಲೇಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಥಿನ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡ್ರಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ನರಸಿಂಹಮೂರ್ತಿ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಕುಕ್ ದೋರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಓ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಎಸ್ ನರಸಿಂಹಮೂರ್ತಿ ಜಿ uh can we say uh, when we are operating through manas by nature manas is sankalpa vikal upatmakam manas correct whereas uh, intellect or buddhi uh, which is nish- nishchayatvam okay if the action the action is intellect driven then it is functional if it is manas driven by nature it is sankalpa vikalpa correct so viveka is what defines intellect viveka is important for each and every activity in life aste bottom line without viveka don't even try to do anything manas will give thousands of inputs it is the intellect which has to filter according to its idu and take the right decision correct marsi murthy that's you are perfectly right yeah yeah ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಭರಣ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಎಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಭರಣ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ is there any cl- people have clarity about that you want somebody wants to explain what is avarana what is vikshepa heli anyone avarana is a projection hmm vikshepa is a no oh. ulta ulta okay vikshepa is the projection avarana is what forgetting that it's a projection that is avarana avarana means avarana means covering veil 
the meaning of avarana itself is very clear it means wailing avars kotu namge buddhi mank agoitu katla avars kombidtu we say in kannada no wailing is avarana vikshepa is this projection so how does it translate in everyday life everyday example i think last week also we spoke about it everyday example of avarana vikshepa yes rajini because consider in a, at our level even at our um, non gnani level also a gnani level also we know some that vikshepa is happening but we, we have the sense to know that it is just a projection for example rajini sun rising in the east and setting in the west hmm. is it vikshepa is it a vikshepa or not yeah it's a it's a vikshepa but we don't have avarana about it huh. we know no. very well that the sun neither sets nor rises hmm. isn't it okay. so at our level these are the certain vikshepas that we live with with the correct knowledge also we still mm -hmm. use the same word sun is setting sun is rising we don't change our language because of that but very clear knowledge that yes it is neither sets nor wet or the sky is blue we know the sky is not actually blue you know it's a reflected uh, light which gives that illusion that the sky is blue yet that projection remains so what happens when a gnani uh, uh, when a person get enlightened how does this vikshepa and avarana work this maya uh, this maya avarana and vikshepa are called the maya shaktis maya shakti of brahman mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a dual like how brahman is sachidananda mm -hmm. this maya is avarana and vikshepa <laughs> yeah the avarana is taken off the veil is taken off but the projection would be there <coughs> and the, it, it, the clarity is very much there so the covering is taken off but the projection is as it is it will be there there's mm. nothing to change about the projection for example a gnani when so uh -huh. many students are sitting in front of him yeah how he does takes he... them he takes them as a uh, sakshi he takes them as consciousness because if he were to go in our uh, uh, this thing karmic accounts then we may not even be fit to be sitting in his class but he doesn't take into that he doesn't take me to as rachni or anybody 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 for that matter of fact he takes me as a sakshi and he he just imparts the knowledge correct he takes he stands as a sakshi and does uh, with the functioning mind working mind he treats everyone there is no uh, i mean he will, he will know who is capable of you know taking what nana that discretion is there that viveka is there hmm. but there is no judgment no judgment to it yeah. no judgment correct na what else anyone wants to add to this what happened miraj when... yes narsimurthy miraj ma the same kudra okay maya shakti daito amal innenu next to <clears throat> so what happens Brahman to the world yes are you talking to us narsimurthy yes ma'am brahman and the world manifestation of world uh, brahman is world manifestation of brahman is world correct yeah correct any doubts about that people manifestation the manifest or rather you can say manifest world is also brahman that's also right jivo brahma eva na para jiva jagat ishvara everything is brahman only okay um there were some questions of narsimurthy which we want to tackle shall we do that narsimurthy let us see if we there is still if they are still valid after all our discussions <laughs> of the day what are the factors considered to define the strength of ahankara <laughs> strength of ahankara means how much mature the ego is or how how strong the ego is what do you want to convey with that question narsimurthy en neevu hang helidirala adu kannada la on sathi helbudi 
ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ತರ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ anyone wants to take a you know try to answer that how do you determine how much ahankara one has ha huh? ahankara is ahankara i don't know how do you give it a strength or this thing okay here is a question will you consider the ahankara of duryodhana and the ahankara of Dr- of yudhishthira the same level no simple to what extent you can to what extent extent can you wreak havoc in society and in others that much your ahankara is there how much can you disturb someone's mind to what extent how that strong is your ahankara ashte how much it is related to waking dreaming and deep sleep states sir it's a negative energy it's a negative energy almost when you when you when you use it to destroy others peace of mind is it a negative only no yeah. ahankara can be used to for loka hita or for uh, you know loka nashta <laughs> what he is asking hmm. what else okay correct inen adru itta nimdu problem adrolge ashte alla purnima here in the talks actually it was mentioned as in the waking state it is 100% dream state 50 oh. and that context is uh, asking that question correct alwa narsimurthi oh so how oh, the fact determine anta it is not about one person sahakara to another person like that oh no, no. i see acha 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 okay okay thanks for the clarity so in a waking state ahankara is in full bloom hmm. all of our ahankaras are in full bloom in waking state correct and then in the dream state it is diluted medium ahankara alva narsimurthi is that right howdo adu aa thara agadik karana yenu bekagutte matte adu the reduced version in dream state so sapna avasthayalli kanisthuva agirodukku ಎಚ್ಚರಾಸ್ತೆಯಲ್ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ but uh, i me myself is there no anupama because i feel i am i am falling somewhere i feel somebody is suffocating me all that happens in the dream no hmm. yeah i am trying trying to run out of from uh, run away from the scene when when the lion or tiger appears yeah yeah so i feel fear i feel happiness everything is there anupama in the dream state but, but it is the dream is uh, last for only some seconds we are not continuing uh, even after waking up we are not continuing with that uh, dream alone but uh, in uh, in waking state uh, 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 if i am uh, suppose if i am if i am talking like this and uh, i spoke like this and purnima ji said wow uh, so i have good intellect if i keep that talk that keeps even in dream that comes that is i me mind anupama that is ahankara in the dream while i am dreaming i don't know that this is going to, going to be for me no see mind mind is a very good deflecting surface of the for the chidabasa for consciousness to happen so in the waking uh, state our mind will be sharpest and so the chidabasa will be very good and so mm-hmm. uh ahankara also maybe yeah. more ahankara also will be on the high scale when i associate with kartatva voktatva there hmm what do you think uh and in the dream state i am not associating myself with myself i know i know i am there but 
I strongly don't associate with myself in the dream. Hey, why aren't I held there? Why aren't I held there? Yeah, that, 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 is, that is the subtle part. Yes. <laughs> Because exactly. in the dream also, it, there could be nightmares, which could be very, very, uh, that is what people say, nightmares. Mm -hmm. Because the consciousness is pretty strong over there also in dreams. Mm -hmm. So, okay. We'll no, uh, without, 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 without uh, Siddhavasa, dream cannot happen. Siddhavasa must be there. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, also... our uh, Sokna Sharira is uh, Jada. Uh, dream cannot happen. And also, this waking state is called as Vyavaharika Satya. And the dream state yes. is called as Pratibhasika Satya. This waking state is, let us assume it's an independent, it is, it is running independently. The dream level is derived from this waking state. It depends hmm. on what happens in the waking state. It is a yes. shadow. Yes, it's yes. Shadow of is that are the previous Yes. It's a yes, shadow me. of the, what is happening in the... That is pro probably why the sh shadow is not strong, as strong as the original. No. That is why you can it say... Is like that's why. It, it is like rehearsal. That's It is like rehearsal. Rehearsal. <laughs> so, I guess... And uh, the one more thing... That, uh, one, one more thing I uh, thought of is... Since organs are... Very much active in the waking state. In addition to what is there, what is running. Uh, for example, at this point in time, one of the things is running in my mind. In addition to that, there are, more, there are some more uh, inputs to uh, my uh, instru inner instrument with which further, uh, uh, what is that? Ruthis will, uh, chitta Ruthis will happen. So, uh, the intensity will be very high uh, when I am away. Otherwise, uh, in the dream state, it is narrowed down, it is scoped down, thing which is just played. I will tell you one more thing. Okay. Contrary. Okay. In my waking yeah. state, the, my limitation of the body is very much in place. Whereas in the dream state, yes. Yes. I don't have the limitation yes. of body. I can fly. I can swim. I can go underwater. I can become. I can take on other forms. That is also oh, there. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So the only reason why it is uh, why it, why it is weaker the hankara is weaker in the dream state is because it is a borrowed reality. It, yes, not, yes, yes. it is not completely independent. Ashtay, that's yes. what we can say. Yes. And one more question he has asked, why Jnana can be attained only in waking state? People want to answer that. Why, why is Jnana to be given only in the waking state? Any inputs? Faculties are in the full. They have the they are in the full potential during the waking state. So my reception is the highest in my waking state. Okay. And Shaila, you know, Shaila, what did you say? Like Shravana Matrena. Like we hear uh, the uh, Sadhguru's talks. Like so even then, in dream, you can hear, no? If Sadhuri chooses to come in your dream and give you a talk, why not? We hear so many things in the dream. Why don't we hear the Sadhguru's talk in the dream and become enlightened? Mm -hmm. Is the question. Any thoughts, Anupama? You were saying something? We can practice all the teachings in the wake, waking state. That uh, That is the reason for the to come. We can Vanity. practice all the Valid, valid. Yes, so it's why a dream state, why uh, uh, we were discussing, no? Why ego is low in uh, dreaming state? Same vice versa, because uh, in waking state only, everything is reality. Correct, correct. Because the dream is a pratibhasika satya. That is why it is not valid enough. Because the moment I wake up from the dream, I forget the dream also. <laughs> I forget it. I don't even remember what was happening in the dream. Isn't it? 
So this all this has to be practiced only in the waking state. If I am aware even in the dream state, then the bodhane can happen. Then you don't need any bodhane if you are awake in the dream state also. When do you retain anything that's happening in your dream, Narsimhuti? Do we do we retain? Partially. Are we con are we in control of our dreams? Partially. Uh, partially. And are we in control here in the waking state? Not at all. Uh, so Not at in all. the waking state, I make a decision at least. To some extent, I have free will. I will go to Prabhuji's house for satsang. I will listen, I will log on and I will listen. Some free will is I am exercising in the waking state. In the dream state, there is nothing. It just you just sweeps you along, you know, the dream. You cannot script your dream, you can't write your dream, nothing you can do. I think there is no Viveka there. Yes, Anpama. <laughs> There is no Viveka there. Ah, there is no Viveka. Perfectly said. Completely Viveka only in the dream. <laughs> there is no Viveka. <laughs> she said it so well. And no... in waking state, uh, due to Shravana Manana Nididhyata, mind gets purified. Mm, maybe due to that, that also. Okay. Shravana Manana Nididhyata happens in the waking state. Teaching happens in the waking state. Chitta Shuddhi is slowly happening. The quality of our dreams will also change. Thanks to that. Thanks to the activities of the waking state, the dream state will also become, you know, no more nightmares at least. That much we can ensure. Once I had asked Prabhuji, what do you dream about? He said, I always dream that I am teaching you all. That's all he said. So there is a, seamlessly the reflection is also very beautiful. If your waking life is beautiful, your dream life is also beautiful. That's all we can say. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hmm. Ma'am, if we can answer this this way, uh, it would uh, give much more uh, clarity. I would, uh, I, I think. Uh, hmm. It's like, uh, uh, what is the difference between uh, intellect and jnana itself? I mean, antakkarana, uh, buddhi, and jnana itself. Antakkarana is only an instrument. No, buddhi and jnana. The, uh, eventually. Buddhi has to be translated into, sorry, Jnana has to be translated into uh, Buddhi itself. The Buddhi acquires Jnana, no? Yes, yes, that is what. Uh, Buddhi is an instrument, functionality of uh, my an Antakkarana. Correct. One of, the function of the function, one of the four functionalities of my Antakkarana. Correct. And Buddhi is the one which is going to say nishchaya whether I, I have to be uh, I have to be uh, associated with my true self Correct. or yes my uh, ahankar yeah yeah so right. when I have that nishchaya uh, mm -hmm. like when I when I have that purest clarity that mm. this is what what I am then ahankara drops off mamakara once the ahankara drops, drops off, where is mine? Mine will not be there. When I am not are there, mine will not be, also not be there. Allapa, are you saying that what, what I, I have to, in, in simple terms, I, I, I am a mumukshu. And the, when, the, when the mumukshatva comes, are you saying that? Yes. That doesn't, that is the beginning no. point. Why, where will everything drop? The dropping is the end point. No, no. no what I am saying is, uh, Eventually, when jnana happens, it has to be translated, it has to be operated through uh, buddhi only. Correct, Appa. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, it's a concept. Jnana is a concept. Correct. Advaita is a concept. Everything as long as it is my experiential reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Walk, walk the talk, then only then it becomes your reality. Until then, it will only yes, remain yes, yes. information. Correct. Yes. That reality happens through uh, uh, buddhi, intellect. Yeah, fine. Okay. That's also fine. <coughs> aren't, the, uh, aren't the thoughts, chitta vritti, a product of chitta and not the other way around? In a padu, please give clarity about that question. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chitta vritti. What is the meaning of chitta vritti? Thoughts. Memory. 
चित्ता पर से इज मेमोरी चित्त वृत्ति इज मूवमेंट ऑफ द माइंड नथिंग बट थॉट नथिंग आई डोंट थिंक दट क्वेश्चन हैज गॉट एनी दिस थिंग हियर no i it the, there i think it is interchangeably used that's the reason i asked this question maybe maybe yeah, yeah. okay fine no problem <clears throat> okay these were some of the questions that uh, narsimurchi ji had um, then we can go to next talk if you wish it is already 11:26 okay some more about uh, talk 32 very small talk what happens after atma gnana Will the chitta vritti, uh, with, will the chitta shuddhi be complete after atma jnana? That is a question. Only one question in that other talk. What is the answer? Atma jnana. No, there may be some uh, impressions also in the chitta. It may be not fully cleared also. Uh huh. Is it that uh, like these impressions are from so many uh, like uh, birth and rebirth also? Hmm. Okay. Shaila is saying chitra vrut chitta shuddhi will not be complete and total after jnana. There will be some impressions will be left. Correct or not? Yes. Well, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, yes. Prabhu ji has mentioned it. Okay. Very clearly. Yes. Rajini. Yes. Excuse me. Ah. Huh? so yeah so some what are the impression that are left over we have discussed it many times there are kinds of vasanas some vasanas will be retained or they will always be there some vasanas the most important vasanas are left what are those vasanas called indra you haven't spoken in a long time yes yeah. bandha vasana bandha <laughs> vasanas are completely dropped alva anupama Rajini, what is uh, yes, bandha vasanas. Rajini, uh, you are aware yeah. of bandha vasanas. What are what are bandha vasanas? Yeah, it is a natural association of the body and the uh, the BMI complex with the chitta bhasa. Bandha vasana. I am not talking of that samanda here. Okay. We are talking of vasanas. Bandha vasanas would be related to my past births. This thing, prarabdh no. karma. No, bandha means bondage. Hmm. What are the vasanas that bind me in this life? Tell me. What are the vasanas that bind me in this life? The me and, me and the mind. mind. Me and the mind. Me and the mind. My people, my possession, my, my house. My, 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 me and mine, those are the bandha vasanas which totally are dropped when the jnani is enlightened, when the person is enlightened. But bhoga vasanas are retained to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. What are the bhoga vasanas? Example, anyone? Have Anupa? a coffee or ah. going for a coffee, oh, shopping. No, Going for a movie, having a good cup, of, good meal, having a good talk. All these are bhogavasanas. Which is fine because it doesn't matter. When you know I am not the body, why bother about what the body does or the mind does? Anta. You see, the mind is very pure. It will not harm. But it will let it go, let it do. It, the nani does not associate the behavior of the mind or the body with himself. With the self. That is why some vasadas or some impressions are left over. And what like, happens? Uh, there is one question over here. Yeah. Uh, you said whatever the mind uh, says, you dissociate yourself with it, right? So, what exactly is the difference? Because uh, at the end of the day, a jnani would have the best of the uh, desire, a uh, best of the thoughts. This could be a local jnana. Right, but Correct. your thought could be the same. Bhoga, bhoga, bhoga vasana is there. Bandha vasana is gone. Bhoga vasana, I want to sleep now. What's the, what's the problem with that? Okay. As, whereas if I'm a practicing disciple, I'll say, oh, I can't sleep now. This is Brahmi Muhurta, I have to get up and meditate. I will, 
I'll have those kind of ideas. When I sleep, it's a tamasic sleep. Because I'm lazy, I will sleep. Because I have, I have had too much to eat, I will sleep. See, that the difference between the Gnani and Agnani is when my all my actions are ridden with guilt. Can I, I can't even enjoy a good sleep because I've got so many concepts. Con conceptual mind comes into play. Isn't it? This is not the time to sleep. For example, in our culture, they say evening you should never sleep. You know, you have to light the lamp in the house. You should not sleep. It's a concept for me. For a gnani, that might not be there. If he wants to sleep at 7 o'clock in the evening, he will sleep. It doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't. But we have the, the conceptual mind has got all sorts of com concept complexes about it. The gnani does not have. Oh, the path, we might have to take up this. Correct. Correct. For us, discipline, all the discipline is necessary for a seeker. For a gnani. And what exactly is chit shuddhi then? What do you understand by chit shuddhi? Chit shuddhi is you don't have ill will towards anyone, Baba. Your, your intellect is very pure. It's only about loka kalyana. Chitta shuddhi means that. It's not about these petty things, like, you know, it, that's fine. But Jit Shuddhi, you generally see normal people also. A normal householder also would not want to harm anybody. They live their own lives. Correct. But he cannot be called as a seeker. Yeah, correct. That's fine. So they are good uh, karmas. They are doing good karma for society. They'll acc accumulate a lot of punya. And they'll enjoy a good life in the next life also. And to that extent, their goodness will work for them. To that extent. But it is not enough to get rid of your birth and death cycle. No. Mm -hmm. Pure goodness will get you even a good life to that extent. Good family, good life, your health, wealth, prosperity, everything you will be, you will be granted. You will go to the heavens after you die, where you enjoy even more. There is no expiry. Till the expiry date is there, you will go and enjoy in the heavens. But it is it has got an expiry date, no, Rajini. All the Papa Karmas have got expiry date. All the Punya Karmas have got expiry date. The whole effort is to get out of the cycle, no? Yeah, yeah. So the Chitta Shuddhi. Yes, Narsimurti. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, please go ahead, man. Sorry. I will Any last Sorry. step. That's what. Agnani will do that. Bhogavasana of Agnani is very, very negligible and it is harmless, even for would and, be, be harmless for him if he wants to go on eating sweets, but uh, he, he, he is not aware of that little things. Yes, Indra, you are saying something. Think, uh, the Bhogavasana is to that extent, even the next day they don't remember, they've enjoyed the movie also. Even while eating, they don't remember, you know, <laughs> it will be like, you know, like. Some mechanical action that is happening. Probably. I don't know because uh, we don't know. We can't get into the mind of Agnani right now. We have to ask them only. <laughs> yeah. They don't hang on to it. They don't talk about it incessantly. Correct. Indra is right. No, not even bother. They just drop it then and there and go to the next. That's all. <laughs> Very... no, Vasana, maybe the drops of because this whole universe belongs to them. They are the owner of uh, the universe. So, uh, Brahmanda, the Vadaya. So, uh, Bhogi, why yeah, should yogi, they even... Yogi is called a Mahabhogi. No? That is also yeah. said. <laughs> yeah. Yogi is yeah. called a Mahabhogi. He is able to enjoy everything. Through others also, he, yeah. even others are enjoying, he also he also feels happy. So many things. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know what? I, uh, I need to leave. Uh, uh -huh. we, I need to leave now. Uh, I have to go somewhere. So I think we had an interesting session. No? We we'll continue. Very interesting and very, very educative. Purnima, uh -huh. tumba gito. Tumba gito nice thank clarifications, Purnima. All Jai. our doubts, doubts clarified. Oh, thank, thank you so much. I'm so glad that came out, you know, properly. So what we had to do is we still haven't covered Talk 33 in the cover, Agila. We will take up that. Talk 33 to 35 next. Okay. 
we had all those allotted okay. Allah. We'll finish those 33, 34, 35 in the next class. Shall we do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, is it okay to meet Tuesday mornings at this hour? This is a perfect hour for me, really. Actually, it's nice. Very fresh ah. all mornings. Yes. Fresh. Relax. Fresh. fresh. Okay. Done. If it is on Monday, okay, madam. Monday, Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning, people, are you all okay with Monday morning? No, no, Monday I have so many work. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, in case if it's not possible for me, I'll just uh, send my uh, assigned uh, things. Uh, why, uh, why, why, why is uh, it not possible? Yeah, Kappa. Ma morning, little bit. Uh, uh, solpa kastan and get morning. Morning, solpa kastan and get. Oh, yeah. I think uh, because of me, it should not be disturbed. I'll try my best. Whenever possible, I'll join. Otherwise, I'll send it. I'll send it. You should be part of the discussion. Assign it. If you're not part of the discussion, there's no point. Let us see. Let us see next Tuesday how, you know. Let us see. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Let us not. Uh, okay, I really need... the Okay. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramaya, sarve bhadrani pashyantu, ma kashchid dukkha bhag bhavet, lokaha samastaha sukhino bhavantu, lokaha samastaha sukhino bhavantu, Lokaha samastaha sukhino bhavantu Hari hi om tat sat shri guru bhyo namaha Hari hi om Thank you Purnima Thank you Purnima